Hey, g'day guys. It's Calvin and Jason, cartoon company, uh, down in New Zealand. I get quite a few questions about scissor gears and the timing up of the cam gears in these UZ engines. And I was going to take my hat off. I, was, I really was going to take my hat off for this video. That's better. So I see this quite a lot on the VVTi engines, and guys aren't locating or putting in the little um, service bolt to lock the scissor gears up. And then when they put them together, they rattle like a tractor. Today we're going to use old yellow. It's been pissing me off for a while because it's got an oil leak, and I've been running it, it's dropping oil on the heaters. So we're going to pull apart one that is all together and we'll show you the timing marks and we'll have a look at the front marks as well for the timing belt but the main focus is is the gears inside here and explaining the scissor gears it's perfect timing because jace is spannering this one together I've demoted myself to being the boy on that job and cleaning it, getting sure every part is right. Because in some ways I actually think that's more important. And he's crap at cleaning. Whatever. Yeah, that's why I'm cleaning your bits for you. That's still. why you're rubbing your cams. <laughs> I'm rubbing rubbing your shaft. You rub your own shaft. I'm rubbing my lobes. Lobes. You're rubbing your lobes. Hey. Run a little bit, will you? Here's a tablet cover set. Line it up on TDC. That's your job. Now that's your job. I'm going to explain scissor gears. I'm going to go over there to explain scissor gears like I did yesterday. Oh. Properly. We walk past Mr. Bent Rod, and I happen in my barrow here, I have some cams. So here we have some gears. And if these were to go together, they would chatter with some backlash. But Toyota did this clever little... <laughs> but Toyota did this... Have I got it in the right spot? Yep. Oh, hello, Poppy. So Toyota did this clever little trick here, where it cut a gear at about one third of the way in, and there's a spring mechanism in there that allows um, it to put tension on that one of the gears. So I've carefully put this in the vise, put it on the on the angle piece here. I should have a ten millimeter tip off it. So what I recommend people do is they get in and have a play with it. You can't damage it. You can see here, it can rock. That's the scissor gear rocking away from the spring. And this whole unit can be pulled apart. So you just get on here very carefully. More carefully than that. So you're carefully onto that gear. And you can rotate it round. So this way takes the tension off, and this way brings the tension on. You can't go past anyway, it won't let you. And I think I need longer than a 10 mil bolt. So once you've got it lined up with the hole there, I'm using a 16 mil bolt, because my 10 mil wasn't long enough. And you can just screw it in by hand. With that bolt screwed in there, it just sits back a little bit, but it doesn't go back the whole way. This cam's now ready to install if we were putting it in. I had to take these out because the engine it came out of had that bent rod, so I couldn't rotate the engine. So I just pulled these out and they went ping, popped apart, and then I reset it on the bench. Very quickly while we've got this out, you'll see this one's quite clean and that one's quite dirty. And that's due to the PCV valve system. Fresh air is entering on this side, and it's leaving on this side. 
How's, how's old yellow look? So this side, this is the PCV valve side, but it's actually relatively clean. Possibly doesn't get enough running and get warm enough. A little bit of uh, moisture in there. Considering half the time it doesn't even run with water. Oh, but this side is much cleaner than the other side, isn't it? It's actually a bit of a sweetheart in there. Look at that. The orange silicon was the... Yeah, we don't use orange silicon. So... You, you've hopefully worked out that Jace has got the tappet covers off. He's lined up TDC mark here. I've actually got these leads so they just fall off. I've got them so just take them off, They're much easier. Not in their way now. Way in, anyway. There's a timing mark here, which runs across. There's actually a dimple in the there's actually a dimple in the back of that cam as well. This one here, and a dimple in the back lining up in here. I know we can't see it that great, but that's lined up. Can we see it? So we can just see it down here. There's a dot there and a dot there. And they need to be lined up with each other. See a bit on this side, eh? And on this side, there's a dot there and a dot there. Cams and this one was stuffed anyway. It's got big rusty marks on the back and it's had a um it's had some water in there. Other water. Bad water. I had a call this week from my mate Zane up in Fongaray with the fake taxi and he's putting together another motor and he asked very quickly about the marks. He knows enough about four-stroke engines, he just worked out by the cams, where everything sits. And that's a really good way for guys that really understand the cam phasing, to double check as well. Now, due to the fact we've got scissor gears in here, our cams are going to turn different ways. On the likes of the, the JZ, where timing belt goes to both cams, so both cams are turning that way, the UZ, they go opposite ways. So this one is going to go this way, this way, and this one's going to go that way. Because it's going through that scissor gear in the middle. And just to confuse people, we do have a pair of double dots on the back of these cams. Now this applies to non-VVTI, not VVTI. Uh, so where are our double dots? There. There they are, right there. There's some double dots. Which if I do... 100... If I do, if I do a 360 degree... Which I've just done. So TDC is again lined up. My cam belt marks are not, they're down there, and down there. And now, the double dots line up, but the belt at the front isn't correct. I'm sure Toyota did that just to confuse people. It kind of does make sense to have the marks 180 degrees opposed on the cams. And of course the cams are turning at half the speed of the crank. So TDC will come around. Both number one piston and number six piston will come to TDC. But of course each of them fire um, at one revolution opposed on the crankshaft. Or half a revolution opposed on the camshafts. I think what we'll do is we'll slam the tablet covers back on this. 
we've proven our point with old yellow of where it should be stock standard. So it's single dot, single dot, single dot, single dot. And I'll try and just grab a little bit when we're putting that back together. And I can show when we release the scissor gears. I'll try and show releasing the scissor gears. I can actually, because this is old yellow, I can probably get a screwdriver in quite safely and show the backlash on here. So if I get in here, we can see that these teeth aren't quite lined up. And if I can just get in with my screwdriver, I'm not sure we'll quite see it, but I can just wiggle that back just a little tiny bit. That's how it takes the, the backlash out by pushing these gears against each other. So we now have an engine that turns over and I'm going to line up the TDC. That lines up, that lines up. And we have single dot to single dot there. There's our double dot on the outside edge. Get a light. What's in here? <clears throat> so there's our double dots there. And in the center is our single dots. There they are there. And it's the same on the other side. Our scissor gears here. Um, I've still got the service bolt in, and Jason will pop that out. I don't want to go. Oh, there we go. And that's the same service bolt we put in when we started this job. And now, there'll be no backlash on it. We won't be using that one again. No, that's a rubbish bin. No backlash. If you get them too long, they'll come through and they'll jab into the head. So that's why we keep them quite short. On this side, Jace will just whip the bolt out. You can't. Turn over. It's at the bottom. It's on an engine stand, we can just turn the whole engine over. Yeah, that, that's, that'll help. I'll undo a timber underneath, but underneath there's somewhere else. You want me to rotate the uh, assembly? Mm -hmm. We also just double check the tappet settings and I had the special tools which take a little bit of uh, planning to get used to them but they are quite quick to do. Service bolts out and we're all timed up, ready to go. So just a note, this is for non-VVTI. The VVTIs are slightly different in the dots. So I hope that's been helpful. We'll talk to you again soon. Catch you later.